I had a question about uh, I had a question about the style of play that you underlined in the last game that you weren't impressed by the Chennai in attack uh, in the in the first game of the season. So has there been any change in the training training regime or uh, plans to improve on the attack? Uh, first of all, I wasn't like I said. We lost many balls. Uh, mm-hmm. this one thing, and uh, my player showed me t- during preparation and uh, on the friendly games, uh, showed me many times that uh, we can do it. It's a matter of time to do it. So uh, you cannot resolve this with one training uh, because we have quality and uh, we should keep the ball more. And uh, I know we can do it, but of course we need to understand that uh, this was the first first game of uh, after many months. This is one thing, and uh, another thing. Um, my players, I, what I see and what I believe, they had a big, big desire to win the game, and from that, sometimes they did lose their concentration. And uh, uh, of course, uh, for us, uh, it's important to keep the ball, and uh, I believe. Uh, the next game we will do much better thank you coach uh, to common i had a question previous common yeah. and uh, uh, i had a uh, you know i had a question about uh, how has it been scoring for the first time in india and what will be your personal aim in the indian super league this season yeah my personal target is to to make us as, as, as better we can with the team so the team is always in the first place for me and uh, of course, it was I was very happy that we won the game, especially with the, with this penalty goal. But it's not important for me. So this is like a second, third case for me. The goal assist for me always the first target is to to make uh, to make result with the team because if we make result, it's good for everybody. So this was the first thing. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. Thank you, uh, Shri Watson. Uh, I think you have a question for the coach. Good afternoon, uh, coach in common. Uh, first of all, best wishes for tomorrow's game. Thank you. Uh, coach, uh, we saw an update from the club that Rafa is out for about four weeks. So, uh, how big a loss is it and uh, how important do you think Komen will be in Rafa's absence? Because both play similar positions. For me, all the players are important. This is one thing. The second thing, Rafa is uh, important player, good player. Now he's injury, and we need to look and concentrate on the players. Uh, the players they are ready to play. All of them they are okay, except him. And we need to help him to, to recover as fast as he can. Uh, on my uh, some interviews before, I said that my teams doesn't depend from one player, and uh, this my teams. So I will keep the same saying that one team cannot depend from one player. We need to keep working without him. Yes, we want to. And we need everybody healthy to be so I can have as many options um, in the game. But now we need to do it without him. And uh, one thing for me, in my philosophy, cannot depend uh, cannot depend on one player. Common role, every role is important. Tapa is a role is important. Ariel, anybody, Edwin. So all the players, uh, even from the bench on from the start, uh, they are important and they know what you need, what they need to do. Thank you. Uh, Ajay from Indian Footy, do you have a question? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, coach, uh, what is the mood in the camp after the previous defeat and uh, your assessment about opponents Northeast United? I, I, sorry, I didn't understand. Uh, what is the mood in the camp after the previous defeat and uh, your assessment about Northeast United? Previous defeat? How is that? Hello? About defeat? How yes. is everyone in the team feeling after the first game? Uh, How do we feel it? How it is? We feel when you, uh, every, for me, every win is a good win. So if you, uh, three points uh, to start, uh, it's very important for, uh, for mentality and uh, for the confidence. So we know all that uh, we need to be, like we said, be bet- better in, uh, in attacking and uh, uh, we lost so many duels and we need to be stronger there. Um, we have confidence and uh, we know what we can do and I believe in these players. You go to. And this is, this is my opinion. The second, I think. Uh, 
can you repeat the second part of the question uh, your assessment about the northeast united uh, look this uh, uh, there is for me for me there is no easy game uh, even they if they win the first two games or uh, they take one point till now they are a dangerous team they did very well last season so you have to prepare uh, prepare uh, yourself mentally and be full concentrated and full discipline uh, in every game and we go game by game uh, everything can be dangerous if you let them be dangerous so we need to be we need to be concentrated and uh, there is no easy game you make it easy the way how we approach the game and how you play and uh, how how we how we need to think how we going to be how we going to be better so this is um, this is uh, this is only uh, my my opinion and uh, of course um, you see the many the many many games in the first 20 minutes uh, uh, the teams concede the goal so we need to be concentrate all the 90 minutes not only first 20 minutes but it's a good team uh, it's a good foreigners and uh, we analyze them like they analyze us so we are prepared and uh, it's a good team it doesn't matter if they uh, have one point or if they win the, all the games we need to we need to be serious and uh, concentrate 100 percent thank you uh baron from sports kida uh hi coach uh good luck for your next game yeah. so while cfc managed a victory against hyderabad fc in the last moment uh what are some areas that you feel that needed to improve yeah i need we need to improve attacking the moments when we win the ball because we make 57 interceptions in that moment we need to keep that ball and uh, make organized attack or make counter attacks so it's an attacking and we need to we need to we need to be stronger in our duels because the percentage of our duels was very low uh, if we come to and seeing uh, friendly games before uh, winning second balls and uh, of course uh, we didn't uh, yes opponent had some chances but they didn't make the, that chances uh, with combination play in the in the way we give them so uh, i wanted and i want my team better like this but showing character showing um, uh, showing big desire and from that big, big big desire losing some concentration because i i know the next game will be better so this is the main point for me uh, to to be better in attacking second balls and duels. Thank you, coach. So I have a question for Coman. Can I go ahead? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, hi, Coman. Uh, what the hot fought win against Hyderabad FC uh, did for the team's uh, confidence and morale uh, heading into your second game? Yeah, also the first game we started uh, with uh, with a big confidence, but uh, maybe this over desire a little bit like disturbed us. Uh, so I believe that uh, also the second game uh, we we're gonna improve and we go with with confidence because I saw my team I saw my team in the friendly game I know what we can do so um, it's it's only it's only way of course we respect our opponents but we know we know what to do in the field so I'm I'm really hope I really hope that uh, in the future we're gonna we're gonna show us uh, show. Uh, the real quality, what we have. Good luck, Coman. Thank you very much. Adarsh, do you have a question for the coach? Yes. Yes. Good morning, coach. So, in the first game, you started with uh, Rahim Ali as the striker and Lucas was on the bench. And uh, we also saw that Lucas did not uh, start some of the preseason games as well. So, is there any specific reason for that? And uh, do you think Joby Justin can also get a chance? They will get a chance when I see when I see the moment that uh, that uh, I can give a chance. This is one thing. The second thing, there is no specific reason. This is the way how I see in this moment, and we will see who will play tomorrow. But the most important for me that the 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 players they come from the bench, they have uh, clear minds and they are positive. And uh, the way how they did uh when they come even edwin even lucas they helped help the team in the second half to win this game because the second half was better and this is the way how they need to do because for me as i said one more time it's not the point how long and how many games you're going to play and how many minutes it's uh what you're going to do for that time that you're playing if you're helping the team or not so if you are helping the team this is very important 
for uh, Joby and all other, I, uh, I give you answers. So when they, they need to work hard and uh, for example, the Joby, they work, work very hard. He didn't play a long time. So uh, this is very important to work hard and when he gets a chance, he will be ready then. Thank, Thank you. Uh, Sajid, do you have a question for Komen? Yeah, 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 Vladimir. Uh, good afternoon. You scored a goal uh, in, in the very first match. So that uh, the feel good factor that brings to you, like how much confident you are after that? I'm every time confident. Uh, in all my life, so I don't have a problem with the confidence. I hope that with this, uh, with this first win, uh, we can give confidence to the other players who need. I believe that uh, uh, we did this. So, uh, yeah, scoring in the first game is always nice. Always nice to score, and especially if you score and you you win the game, it's uh, like a double satisfaction. Uh, I I don't think that we have uh, problems with the confidence at this moment, to be honest. Thank you, and good luck for the match. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, are there any other questions? Or we can close. Yes, I had a question for Vyadmir. Uh, so, uh, Vyadmir, you have played your first game in the ISL now. So, how different do you think uh, the ISL is compared to other leagues that you have played around the world? I don't like this question, to be honest, because uh, when they ask me to compare the, the leagues, all the leagues, they are different. So, I cannot, uh, I cannot tell you what, what, is, uh, what are the differences from the leagues. This league uh, is a nice league, it's a hard league. Uh, how I told uh, before also, we need to respect uh, all our opponents because uh, here everything happens. So uh, I enjoy the, uh, I can tell you the first game was enjoyable, even uh, that uh, we doesn't show the best, best of our game, but uh, I, I enjoy all the moments. I enjoy the atmosphere. I enjoy the people. So. Uh, but uh, about your question, I never answer. I cannot answer on this. Sorry. Thank you, Komen. Apurva, do you have a question? Hello? Apurva, can you hear me? Okay. Um, are there any other questions? Or we can close for today. Uh, I had one more question for uh, Coach. Uh, Coach, sure, so you sure. played uh, Salam Rajan Singh alongside Slapko in the first game. So what did you make of his performance at centre-back? And uh, will he continue to be the first choice centre-back alongside uh, Slapko? So you are asking about Salam? Yes, Salam. Uh... We cannot only look the salam when 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 some mistakes or uh, something happen on the field. It's always the chain. It's it's uh, it's the it's the team because, uh, for example, in defense and uh, in anything, it uh, starts from the from the forward. So um, it's a first game. We need to we need to understand that this this these players didn't play a long long time uh, champion championship competition game. And um, uh, maybe you don't understand because because uh, some of some of the people they didn't play because uh, it's uh, they didn't even train properly for the five months, so uh, not even properly training, uh, not having playing friendly games. We had uh, because of the situation we had only five friendly games. Friendly games, if you compare with championship games, it's totally different. So. Uh, he he had a bad day, but this is this doesn't mean nothing for me. I'm full supporting him and everybody, even uh, with the with the mistakes uh, that he or somebody else makes. So uh, he will be he will be better for sure. And uh, we have many games. This is only one game, so uh, I'm not talking only about him. This is my way of thinking about any player. So I support all, all the way my players because they work very hard on the training. So. I don't have other way to do it, and I don't want to do it. So he have my full support. Uh, and he will he, he will be better. He he did good games in the uh, in the preparation. So we will see uh, how we're gonna start. Thanks, coach. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Anything else from anyone?
Yes, hello, I'm Apurva from GVS. Coach, my question is, how do you rate your opponent for the next match as they are coming from loss and a draw? And what do you think about the traits of them? I am getting ready and we are getting ready. This is how I do in my teams. We don't, it's the same for everything. We prepare our game fully. We prepare like it's a final of uh, final of final. This is how we prepare. We analyze them to the small details. We look all the moments. We do the training. We speak with the players mentally, tactically, physically. They are okay. So this is this is the way. Every for every game. Of course, there is a dif different tactics of uh, each team. Uh, the way how they play and. Uh, they uh, individually they have some uh, some some players the way fast or uh, slow or uh, good uh, target cent uh, center forward so this is some different individual way treats always uh, we expecting the, uh, from the foreigners they can they are here to make a difference and they score the goals from the forwards but uh, you need to look not only individuals you have to do look uh, even as a team so they have some. Uh, they have some uh, uh, strongest points. So we will. We will try to resolve this and to be ready for the game. Yes, I have also questions for Coman. Coman, hi. And my question is, you have scored the first goal in your first match, and what's your target in this season? My target is in this season to make uh, make a good championship with my team to get in the top four. First of all, and after, of course, I want to be a champion. Every time I'm saying I put the, the highest target every time and I try to reach every time this one. So sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen, but I put always the biggest target for myself. Okay, okay, that's it, that's it. Thank you, Apurba, thank you. Uh, anything else from anyone? Or oh, I think we can wrap up now. Okay, thank you for joining us, everybody. Uh, we will see you on Thursday for our pre-match conference for East Bengal. Thank you. Thank you, coach. Thank you, Coleman. Thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you everyone. Good thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sri John, you may proceed. Uh, hi. Uh, good morning, coach. Uh, good morning, Hernan. We play Chennai FC in your next game, and uh, Chennai uh, got a very good victory against Hyderabad. You know whom we saw yesterday defeated Mumbai City FC. So you now Chennai have a very good squad this season. So what are your views regarding your next match and your opponents? Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, like uh, Chennai is a very good team. You know uh, they are tactically, you know, very disciplined. You know, and they're defending. He defended very well, very compact. So yeah, we have to keep the ball well. We have to create chances because if you want to win the game, we have to create more chances and take shots at goal. And yeah, so but it'll be a very tough match for us. But uh, I'm sure that the players are all ready. They are ready for the for this game, and I'm sure that they will give a uh, hundred percent. Uh, my next question would be to uh, Hernan. Uh, well, after you know you've not had the best of starts to the season, uh, do you feel the reduced number of foreign players in the playing eleven is affecting the gameplay of Northeast United FC? Uh, as Alison told you before, uh, uh, we must uh, take a uh, uh, step forward. Uh, the next game against Chennai. Uh, definitely, uh, we did a good uh, a good game in the last game, but we need to improve in in attacking. No, uh, create more chance. Uh, we go directly to the to the goal because uh, we we need to uh, uh, concede uh, three points against Chennai and thinking in, in three points. Thank you, Shajan. Uh, yes, you can ask your question. Yeah, thank you, Arindam. Firstly, good morning, Coach Allison, and good morning, Arnand. Uh, 
I'm I'm Yash from Khelna. So my first question is for Coach Allison. Coach, how would you reflect back on the last game? Yeah, like uh, in the last game, yeah, like we are satisfied with one point because uh, this one point, you know, it will give us the drive and the motivation, you know, to go forward. And uh, yeah, first of all, we didn't concede goal, which is a very positive thing. Yeah, we look forward for this uh, Chennai game. And like you said, like we, we need to put more effort in the attacking, like create more chances. This is what we need to do. Deshaun Brown and Imran Khan, and are there any other injury concerns other than them? Yeah, all are fine. Yeah, Imran, yeah, he's, uh, you know, I think uh, he's doing a rehabilitation program. So by four or five days, he'll be back in the training. And Deshaun Brown, yeah, he's with the medical team now. And the medical team, they have, they're doing their best, you know, for his speedy recovery. In the first pre-match press conference, Coach Khalid said that you'll give us an update in the next uh, meeting that what we can expect about Emmanuel. So you said uh, that the second MRI scan will determine his availability. So what is uh, the status about him? Yeah, like I said, yeah, even the status is fine now. Like I said, in back in four days or five days, he'll be back in training. Emmanuel will be back in training? Yeah, Imran. Yeah. Oh. No, no, I, I'm asking about Emmanuel. Oh, Emmanuel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, at the moment, like, uh, Emmanuel is still, yeah, with the medical team. Like, uh, at the moment, it's best for him to be, you know, with the medical team. So, yeah, we'll update you. If there's any news, we'll update you. Okay, thank you, Coach. Uh, good luck for tomorrow's game. I have a question for Hanan. Good morning, Hanan. So, uh, Hanan, how has it been playing for Northeast United this season? Yeah, good. Uh, it's, it's a new challenge for me, no? Uh, change the, the team. The last season was an amazing season and try to repeat uh, with, my, with my new team, no? It's difficult because uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, junior players that is uh, their first season in, in ISL, but uh, we, we are trying to, to improve uh, a lot of things quickly. And we are uh, doing a, a, a good job to 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 uh, take or make a, a step forward e, and thinking always in, in three points. No, every match uh, we we wanna we wanna fight. We wanna do a good job for three points. Great. So, uh, Arnan, just my last question to you. So, how would you describe your role in the team? Like, you, are, you have been handed the captain's arm and then you played you played in the midfield as well as in the defence. So, how would you sum it up? Yeah, I, I'm trying to put uh, over the, the team my experience, no? My, uh, I think this is my job. Uh, I played uh, a lot of years in, in Spain. I, I have a, a good experience about this. So only one thing, try to uh, talk with, with the guy, no? try to uh, uh, put uh, my experience to learn very, very fast. Great. Thank you, Anand. And good luck for tomorrow's team. Cheers. Thank you. Ashwin, you can ask your question. Good morning, Coach. Uh, good morning, Hanan. Uh, Ashwin Gonzalez. I would like to like to ask uh, one question. Actually, do you think the absence of Galego affects the whole team? Yeah, like uh, first of all, yeah, Galego is a good player. We know that he can make a lot of difference in the game. But uh, in Norwich, we don't think about individual players. We think more as a team. Like if you work together as a team. And we'll get good results. Yeah, uh, just one, uh, just a follow-up question to that. Uh, every player in our northeast is equally talented and equally important as any other player in, in any other team. But do you think? Um, my actual question was: Do you think Galego is that missing part in that uh, puzzle inside our northeast 
that uh, I think, uh, um, do you think that Gallego is the most important part when it comes to the attacking football, the uh, attacking system the North East, uh, North East follows in this uh, system you are playing? Yeah, like, uh, like I said, like Galgo, yeah, we can see Galgo from last season. Yeah, he's a good player and can make a lot of difference in the game. Yes, and that is one thing. Okay, we miss him, but now Galgo is ready. So he's 100% fit. And also we have other players also, you know, like um, we have Matthias, we have, you know, like William is there, Suhair is there. We have Mapuya, who's, who's done very well in the last game. So we need to work more as a team, as a unit you know, for the three points. So that is very important. Teamwork is very important. Okay, okay. thank you, Gosh. Thank you. If anyone has, has any questions, please use the raise your hand feature. I cannot see any more hands. So with that, we shall conclude the pre-match press conference. Thank you everyone for joining.